Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel XGen and Protein X. In this tutorial video, I'm going to talk about overview of the genograft tumor model and also experimental design. So if you don't know about the genograft tumor model and if you are new in this experiment, so you can learn from this tutorial video and also if you want to design your experiment, also this tutorial video, it helps a lot. So stay tuned and watch this video till end. Let's begin. So first we need to know that what is genograft. The genograft refers to the transplantation of the cells or tissues between different species. And genograft mouse models are the most frequently used tumor models for the evaluation of in vivo efficacy of novel anti-cancer drug candidates. So in lab we normally synthesize any kind of chemical drugs or any kind of uh, formulations, anti-cancer formulations or anti-cancer antibody so this is the this genograft model this is the convenient method or convenient models to evaluate the in vivo efficacy of that new drug candidate so first but uh, to know about this uh, genograft tumor model you need to know about the thymus first because this is relevant so you need, don't skip this part so first we need to know that what is the thymus and what is the role of the thymus. The thymus is one of the lymphoid organ and basically uh, the thymus containing the T cells it gonna mature in the thymus. So basically the T cells it originates in the bone marrow as we know and after that it travels to the thymus and in thymus the T cells it gonna mature and get activated in the thymus. So the thymus is the primary lymphoid organ and this is an essential component of our immune systems and it functions as the initial site of T cells immune maturation. So this is the uh, major role of the thymus is to mature the T cell and because of that T cells it gain its names because it mature in the thymus. So next time uh, coming to the next point that is the animals for the genograft model. So what kind of uh, mice you need to select for genograft model. So any kind of mice strain cannot be used for making genograft model. This is this most important. So uh, there are some special kind of mice that only be useful that only can be used for the genograft tumor model generation so here in any kind of mice if you inject cancer cell so as i mentioned that thymus contain the mature t cells so this kind of mature t cells it gonna recognize this foreign cancer cells and there are um, there are different multiple pathways and by that pathway, T cells it gonna kill those cancer cells. So eventually, the tumor it will not form in this case. So degeneration of the tumors occur in this case. So if you use any kind of mice, uh, except that uh, used for the genograft model. So in that case, if you inject cancer cells. So cancer cells it cannot form the tumor inside the animal right so this is why you need to choose the right mice so here is the overview of the bulb c nude mice so bulb c nude mice this is the uh, specific kind of mice that generated only for the genograft tumor model generation so why choose bulb c nude mice in genograft tumor model because this strain of nude mice was developed uh, because this mice actually it is considered that uh, it is immunodeficient. So bulb C mice it do not have thymus and therefore the T cells cannot mature in this mice. So this is why because of the T cells is, the, is, the, is plays major role in the immune functions. So this is why it considered the immunodeficient mice. So this is why when you uh, inject cancer cells, then this kind of mice it, it do not 
induced any kind of immunogenicity so it can easily accept this kind of cancer cells and it can form the tumor so here is the different kind of uh, this bulb C what it contains so it has no T cells because there is no thymus but it has the B cells because B cells normally it originates and mature in the uh, in the bone marrow this is why it has the B cells but without T cells function B cells actually does not work properly and also it has the natural killer cells so how to make genograft tumor model so first you need to select the female bulb C nude mice that is 6 to 8 weeks old and then uh, after 2 or 3 days because 2 or 3 days you need to uh, keep this mice for the adaptation and after that uh, you need to inject the mammalian cancer cell in subcutaneous root this is just under the skin and then when uh, this you can detect that this uh, this mass of the tumor then need to inject the drug candidate so drug candidate need to be used need to be injected through tail vein injection or the intraperitoneal injection both are okay both are both are um, it can be uh, induce anti cancer effect no problem so uh, after that like uh, you need to group so in the next slide i will talk about how to group uh, in and which group how many animals you need to keep so basically you need to inject cancer cells in all of the animals in all of the groups and then after that you need to categorize uh, this different different group and in the drug group you need to inject the only drug and also if you want to use negative control and positive control then in the negative control you need to use the PBS so here is the grouping of the genograft tumor model so here basically control group and the test group this is most important but positive group this is optional you can use the positive group but if this is um, totally depends on your experimental design and purpose so in the control group people normally use the PVS and for test group uh, this is a new drug that you gonna be evaluate and uh, the positive group that is the any commercial anti-cancer drug you can use that is already in the market so next is the anti-cancer drug injection protocol so here uh, there are different different kind of protocols uh, in different publications you can you can follow that but there is no specific kind of uh, protocol but here as you see here in the D0 that is the uh, cancer cell injection and D12 when the cancer, when the cancer forms a complete tumor then they start drug injection but in another protocol also like after 3 days or 4 days they start injection of the drug so that is depends on uh, different different publication that you can, you can follow and drug dose also it can varies from 2 mg per kg to 20 mg per kg that also be uh, variable so next is a measuring tumor volume so after uh, injection of the drug then you need to measure the tumor volume twice at least twice in a week so how to measure so first uh, you need to measure the width of the tumor and then the length of the tumor so basically the the longer measurement that you can consider for the as a length of this tumor so here is the calculation of the tumor volume how to calculate there is one formula easy formula that half into length into wide square so here that it's showing here in this uh, uh, in this vernier so according to that uh, this tumor volume should be 108.56 millimeter cube so after that when you, uh, when you, when you uh, make this kind of graph then you can see the drug group your tumor volume should be decrease over time but your negative control group like PBS 
the tumor volume should increase if you see uh, in this kind of uh, graph if you see this kind of it happening like drug group in the drug group your tumor volume is decreasing and in the pbs group your uh, tumor volume is increasing that means that there are uh, significant value is a lot of is different this this difference is highly significant then you can uh, consider at the end of the experiment that your drug is working as a candy cancer candidate so next is the measuring mice weight so along with the tumor volume also you need to check the mice weight twice in a week so in case of the drug group normally the mice weight it gonna increase but in, uh, in case of the PBS group the negative control group because of this tumor volume increase this is why the mice weight it gonna decline over time so next is the when to sacrifice this mice this is another important question so first um, like when the tumor volume it reaches around 1000 to 1500 millimeter cube of the tumor then you can consider to sacrifice this uh, this mice so here as you see in this figure uh, in the value so according to that uh, this tumor volume is 1373 millimeter cube that is very big tumor so in that case you need to consider to sacrifice the tumor but also it depends on a different condition so at the end of the experiment when you get all of the data like your tumor volume your tumor weight your mice weight then you need to draw this kind of graph and also you can take the photograph with this tumor when you harvest the tumor then uh, in the drug group and also in the control group you need to take together and you need to take the picture of this uh, tumor then you can see that there is the comparison in between control group and the drug group all right so that is all about the genocrop tumor model so i hope this video will be helpful if you like this video kindly hit the like button share it and please if you have any queries kindly write in the comment section thanks for watching